Hi everybody, this is Anita White with Love Your Art. We're back again. Happy to have you joining us as well. If you're a new subscriber, we welcome you and thank you so much for being a part of this art journey with us. We are going to get started. As you know, we like to jump right in. And what do we have today? Well, I'll tell you. We have a 20 by 24 inch canvas and we're going to do some experimenting today. That's right. Kind of doing a idea of a Dutch pour, but somewhat abstract. So we're gonna see what happens with that. What we have here are some colors already mixed up and I will announce them as we are putting them down on the canvas. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is actually taking the colors and just kind of making a flow of those colors through I'm going to begin with black being a um, focal point of the canvas, just taking a diagonal um, pour across and then adding colors to it that I'll announce as we go. So this is the Blick Acrylic Black and we're just going to take and start releasing it along the canvas here. Remember, I'm trying to do a Dutch pour somewhat abstract. That's the black. And then we have the, let's go with the gold, which is the artist, actually it's Liquitex Basics Gold. And we're just gonna take it again and move it along the sides here of the black. We have some silver, and this too is our Liquitex Basics silver. We're gonna just take it and pour it in with the gold and the black. Kind of mixing it in as we go. We also have some Amsterdam titanium white, and we're going to be using that to pull in some of the colors as well, both sides. Both sides here. This is going to be the color that we hope will help to balance everything else out, pull it together. Then we have some, this is the oh, Folk Art, and it is Folk Art Treasure Gold. And again, we're going to mix that in, kind of filling in. Bring it in and white. Put some on the outside here. Okay, we've got a lot of gold. And last but not least, we have the Artist Loft Copper. And that we're going to drizzle through. Getting it all in. Again, we're just experimenting today, having some fun with some colors. I'm gonna bring some of this black back out to the edge here. This is sort of a abstract Dutch pour, is what I'm calling it. And we're going to try to pull some of that color over off the edge, just pulling it down a little bit. Yes, it's sort of abstract in that respect, trying to get it off the edges so that all of our sides are covered. And we'll 
running it down here the edge on this side as well and it makes for a nice lovely abstract design Ooh -wee. okay and we've got to come to this edge as well bringing that right on over and off okay that's a lovely abstract design as it is right there stop right there and have a nice beautiful piece of art that's quite interesting I'm going to remove my gloves and I'm going to take and use the torch to pop air bubbles Now, the idea here was to try to do a Dutch pour out of this, abstract Dutch pour. And what I'm going to do is try to get a little bit more of the colors in here as we prepare to do the Dutch pour. And what I will do is put color where I think maybe we could add a little bit more of contrast. For example, here we have a lot of white. I'm going to put just a little bit of black. So, and maybe a little bit here, breaking up some of that gold. You can also add some copper here. And a little there. Put some of the silver here as well. You don't see as much on this edge. Okay, and got a bit of, quite a bit of gold, quite a bit of white. Now we got silver, we got black. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get our air bubbles popped again. And we're just going to take our blow dryer and go for it. And I'm going to try and blow out some of the colors that we have and see what kind of effect we get. If I don't like it, I'll just scrape it. So we'll see. absolutely amazing. I am impressed with what we have here. We still see a little abstract behind here, which would have been our negative space. A little bit here, a little bit there and there. 
unbelievable. We've got the cells that are just exploding. And I am torching because there are some air bubbles here. But this is just unbelievably gorgeous. Unbelievable. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at the cells here. This is just on um, that um, uh, folk art treasure gold has just got cells just erupting all over here. Really pretty. Love the silver and the black and how that goes into it. And it really outlines it nicely. This looks kind of like an explosion going up into the black is going into the the yellow and it comes out and bursts unbelievably nice. Well, we want to take our popsicle stick around, make sure we got all of our edges taken care of. We kind of tilt it to get the paint over it, so hopefully it covered everything from front to back. This came out really, really nice. I am so, so, so happy with it. Because we've got a little black here, a little black in the middle, a little black here, and then there's this explosion of gold and copper and silver all throughout. All right, let's just do this. Let's stop, stop talking about it and let you see it. Bring you in for a close up. Okay, everybody, here we are. Here's our close up. This is the abstract Dutch pour. As you can see, we've got one studio light on and it is sharing with us the highlights of this particular piece like crazy. That's the gold and the white and the, the copper and the um, black all mixing in with the silver and we have quite the interesting piece here look at that there's lacing throughout cells all over the place and we've got rich rich deep color apologize for the glare but we have one light on we'll turn it off in a minute and see if we can see all this with these dark colors I'm not sure how well that'll come out but that's interesting how we have these silver cells surrounded by gold right here. Wow. Amazing. Look how rich and pretty that is. You can see we still have some of our original. Here we have the um, abstract underneath. There's more of the abstract here. Some underneath there. And all on each side around. Here's some of the abstract here with the gold along with coming up right there. Through there we have the gold and the copper together. That's part of the abstract that we started with our base. And right in the middle here we have black and uh, gold with the silver wrapped around it and a little bit of copper. So let's see what happens if we can turn this one light off and we can get a closer look at this. Definitely rich dark colors, nicely formed cells, lots of lacing. You can see how wonderful those colors came together. Look at that. Those are that's the lacing there. Long cells. Really, really pretty. Very pleased with this experiment that we were doing. An abstract Dutch pour and it came out lovely. I'm very very happy with it. I am amazed at what the colors did together as well as how we were able to blow them out into this full 20 by 24 inch canvas Dutch pour, um, abstract Dutch pour. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again if you haven't done so go ahead and like and subscribe. You want to be informed each and every time we have another video upload. 
And if you're subscribed, it's free. You don't have to pay anything to be subscribed. Just go ahead and click that subscribe button and you can be notified each and every time we have another one of our videos uploaded. Okay, this is an experiment that I think turned out really, really well. Hey everybody, just wanted to show you some dried results from some of the recent paintings I did. This was the actual red, white, and blue Dutch pour that I did for 4th of July. And here you have it. You can see the full view of it there. This was an 18 by 24 inch canvas and it dried beautifully. I was so pleased with the base color, which is the Artist Loft Floor Acrylic Red. Normally I use the black or the white in particular most of the time, but this was a chance for me to see what the red would do. And I was very pleased with how the red came out and it made for an amazing base for this design. The design dried beautifully as well. You can see the cells are here nicely. The color and the rich metallic blue is really, really shining forth and showing itself. And this is without varnish. These have no finished coat on them. So we're real, real pleased with the outcome of that. Let's go to the next one. Hold on. Okay, and here we have a, I believe this is a 12 by, 11 by 14. This one I did not post on YouTube. I actually posted it on my Instagram account, and it was a real hit. Again, you can see the richness of the cells here, how nicely formed they came out, and lots of lacing in this particular one. This again was done for the 4th of July and it came out wonderfully as well. 11 by 14 inch canvas with the red, white, and blue theme. You can see all of the lacing here, all of the cells very nicely formed on this rich Artist Loft red uh, base. And it's the Artist Law Floor Acrylic paint that we use for the base on this as well. And then we have this one, which is another 18 by 24 inch canvas. It too has done a remarkable job drying. The colors are just so rich and vibrant. It is um, 18 by 24 inch, red, white, and blue. And you can see it really did dry nicely as well. So I was real pleased with the outcome on these. Again, um, it's amazing how the designs came out with lots of lacing, lots of cells, just wonderful in terms of how it dried. So I'm real pleased to see what we have by way of our full design. Let's get close up here at the top. You can see how closely well formed those cells are along with the metallic blue. It's really standing out really nicely on this design as well. So I just wanted to give you a quick preview of, or I should say post view of what we did by way of these three particular designs. They are 218 by 24 inch. You can see here, that's one of them. I did not post this one at all. This 11 by 14, I did post on Instagram only. And this one is the 18 by 24 that I posted on Facebook. And it is amazing. It turned out wonderful. These will look great with a beautiful finished coat of resin but I wanted to let you see them with the dried finish. You can see how amazing that Artist Loft Flow Red actually came out, and I'm just very, very pleased with it. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. We'll see you next time. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Again, this is Anita White with Love Your Art. And until next time, keep loving your art. Have a nice time. Be safe. And we will see you on our very next video upload. Bye now.